Hi, welcome to Alessian's Demo Den. I'm Nick, Group Product Manager for Automation in the Jira Software team. And today, I want to show you an automation rule that is both simple to set up and super useful. But please don't assume the easy to use nature of our rule builder means we only support simple use cases. We are starting easy, but in later demo gens, we will showcase some related and even more powerful rules. If you manage a project in Jira, these are the use cases that will make your life a little better and give you some inspiration to start automating more processes in your team. Automation has many purposes. Not only does it save you time, but it also ensures your Jira instance is always up to date and allows your team to maintain their focus. Now let's dive in and look at the common use case and see how automation works. In this example, my hypothetical team has introduced a new process whereby any time a bug is created, we create three subtasks to track the individual pieces of work. The first to investigate the bug, the second to fix it, and the third to do QA. Here we have the rule list, uh, which lists out all rules in our system. Rather than click through to one of these, I'm going to create a new rule. Here we have to select a trigger. The trigger is what kicks off a rule. It puts everything into motion. It's listening for events and performing actions. We have quite a few options. We listen to a lot of issue events uh, and also we have just introduced a lot of DevOps events as well. Popular one is the field value change so you can listen to a, uh, for a change on a particular field. But here we're going to be using issue created. In the left-hand side, you can see the rule being built up as, work, up as well. Here we've got when an issue is created, we want to perform some action. So I'm going to create a new action. Again, lots of options here to manipulate issues, send notification, notifications, and lots of advanced functionality. So we're going to create subtasks. That's what we came here to do. So I'm just going to put in the summary. Fix. The last subtask was for QA. And there we have it. Every time an issue is created, we're going to create three subtasks. But we only want to do this for, uh, for bugs. So I'll add a condition. Here we're going to use the issue field condition to check the value of a field. In this case, the issue type. We're going to check that the issue type is bug. Here we've got to move the condition up above the condition, up above the actions. And if we read this rule now, it's when an issue is created, the issue type equals bug and create three subtasks. And that's exactly what we were trying to do. So I wanna add a little bit more business logic here. So I'm gonna break this first subtask out and set some of the fields on that one. So I've clicked on add fields. I'm gonna make sure that it's created in the same project. I'm gonna add the assignee in due date. I'm gonna assign, assign this to myself as a product manager. I wanna validate all new bugs. And for the due date, don't be intimidated by the syntax. But I'm going to be using smart values to set the date, the due date to two days from now. It's much more convenient than always having to change this. And there we have our rule. The last thing I want to do before I show you this rule in action is to set the scope. I'll just quickly give it some name and then the scope down here. The scope is the context in which a rule runs. You can choose to run it only in a single project. You can do it across your whole instance with all projects, or you can select the projects, or you can add the, the project type. In this case, we only want to do this for software projects. Now we'll turn the rule on, and that's it. I'll create a rule. Uh, I'll create an issue, a bug, um, to show you the rule in action. I'm just going to create an example bug and create that rule. Now, when we click through to this, we should actually see that this new bug has three subtasks. It's got three subtasks, investigate, fix, and QA, with the investigate assigned to me. And that's it. That's our first rule. Thank you for coming, uh, stopping by. We've got some more demo dens showing you some more advanced examples coming up. So happy automating.